Welcome to Hammond Power Solutions basic training on control transformers. Control transformers are designed to provide a high degree of secondary voltage stability during current overload conditions. Overload conditions are temporarily caused by a contactor, relay, or solenoid coil energizing. When the coil is first energized to move the contact points, inrush currents of 5, 10, or more times the seated coil VA can occur. These temporary overload conditions can cause improperly applied transformers to have lower secondary voltages. If the output voltage is too low, a coil will not be able to generate enough force to pull in, which can destroy either the contactor's coil and or its contact points. Control transformers are also known as machine tool transformers, industrial control transformers, and control power transformers. There are many places to use control transformers, especially in machine and automation applications. Any control panel with one or more contactors, solenoids, or relays will often need a control transformer. Any control panel with one or more push buttons or lights or DC power supplies usually needs a lower secondary voltage to operate safely. Control transformers provide electrical isolation and limit short circuit currents within control panels. Do not use control transformers where class two transformers are required. Class two transformers are sometimes called doorbell transformers because that is a common application and they are used to help provide some protection to people. Control transformers do not offer this protection. Do not use class two transformers and loads within rush. Control transformers should be used in those applications. A control transformer is required to supply voltage to a load which requires significantly more current when energized than under normal steady state operating conditions. A control transformer is designed to keep its output voltages from dipping too low to operate equipment during short periods of current overload, often referred to as inrush. It is unsafe to have high voltage electricity flowing through tightly packed wiring within a control panel. The easier and more effective solution is to keep the main circuit voltage and pass it through a control transformer that can then provide a control circuit with a safer and lower voltage. A standard is to often use 24 volts AC to power any push button or pilot light a person may come in contact with. 24 volts was chosen because it's high enough to power most motor starting contactors, fan relays, and other related equipment, but low enough to provide a degree of protection to people. Control transformers are found in a variety of locations, basically any place that starts motors or uses push buttons. This can include manufacturing plants, panel shops, process control areas, HVAC, commercial buildings and schools, shopping centers, apartment buildings, and institutional buildings. Due to the broad range of applications, HPFs offers three different types of control transformers. The Imperator is our most popular and broadest offering. It uses encapsulated construction, which is ideal for the industrial applications where high inrush current levels and levels of transport protection need to be met. The Spartan has an open corn coil design and is ideally suited for general purpose, industrial, and light duty loads where very high inrush currents are not found. It has fewer voltage and fusing options compared to the Imperator series. The Fusion is an enclosed version of the Spartan control transformer. It is ideally situated for single phase, general purpose, industrial, and light duty loads where the user wants to locate the control transformer outside of the enclosure. 